Be vegan, repentant, save your soul. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomitko schedule. Některý přítem je zvládě nemohli, některý respektem vůbec je If you respect them and you show the confidence of all of that, you're going to get all of that in return. Amazing Wildlife Documentaries by Kim Woolhutter, part two of two. Continue watching to find out more. With open arms, the cheerful people of Zimbabwe would like to say Mawuya, that means welcome in Shona. Compassionate viewers, I am Onias. The Zimbabwean citizen sent you warmest greetings. We are delighted to have you join us for part two of the two-part series titled Amazing Wildlife Documentaries by Kim Wolhutter. Acclaimed wildlife filmmaker and photographer Kim Wolhutter was born in South Africa. He was brought up in the famous Kroger National Park where his grandfather was the very first park ranger and his father the head ranger. He started his own company, Marvella Media, to film and photograph wildlife. Kim Wolhuder has now been filming for more than 30 years in the most intimate and realistic of ways. Since 1988, he has made wildlife documentaries for National Geographic, BBC, Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, winning numerous awards and nominations. Kim Wolhutter always strives to create awareness that wilderness is not something to fear, but it is a natural place for our being. He hopes to inspire people to act and be responsible for saving our wild areas. Kim believes that when we lose our connection with nature, we lose our soul. In Man, Cheater, Wild, Kim Wolhutter takes us to the Malilangwe Wildlife Reserve where he reunites with a cheater he has not seen in six months. To his surprise, she now has five little cops, giving him the rare opportunity to document and share in the upbringing and everyday lives of these elusive and timid cats. Running, playing, and resting with them, Kim Wolhutter shares how he is able to build trust with many wild animals. He advises, don't try to be one of them, be yourself. He also goes barefoot and tries to be one with the bush and feel what the animals feel, especially the soft-footed ones. In addition, he explains that you will never be able to develop an intimate relationship with the animals if you carry a weapon with you. The sense your arrogance. Kim Wolhutter also emphasizes that we have no right to shoot an animal. Moreover, understanding of the animal's life is key, and with understanding comes many beautiful moments. The photo of his cheater friend lovingly licking his toes has touched people's hearts worldwide. You've got to treat them as wild animals and you've got to respect them for what they are. If you respect them and you show the confidence of all of that, you're going to get all of that in return. You know them for two years. Even today when I approach them, I don't approach them directly. I don't look at them and stare at them because they will move away. Eye contact is not on with these things. It's a sign of aggression. It's a sign that you intent on doing something to them. And take your time. Let them come to you. It's really just getting them to feel their way and, and be comfortable. 
it does take time and you can't push that time. The time is there, it's not yours. It's incredibly rewarding when you get there. I'm trying to go back in time and man used to roam the wilds of Africa with these animals. And the images that I'm getting are more intimate. So the people can engage more with the animal and feel like they actually are a cheetah. So that's what I'm trying to do, really get people to engage more with the animal, understand it more, and I believe in a far more natural way. Although he tries not to interfere with nature, when endangered species such as the cheetah cubs are in danger, Kim Holhuder will try his best to protect them. When one of the cubs is injured, he successfully rescues and reunites the cub with her mother again. However, with the cheetahs now experiencing disease and loss of habitat due to human activities, can the corpse survive? This beautiful film was nominated for Best Presenter-Led Film at the 2014 Wild Screen Panda Awards. Let's take a moment to pray for the safety of the beautiful animals that color our planet. We'll be right back here on Suprema Star Television. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Welcome back to Amazing Wildlife Documentaries by Kim Wolhuder, Part 2 of 2. Back in 1988, when Kim started as an assistant cameraman, the very first film he worked on was The Sisterhood about Spotted Highness. In 2006, he produced the film Hyena Queen, which tells an amazing story about a small pack of hyenas where the cruel queen is banished and later joins the same pack from the lowest rank. The new queen is more loving and considerate and leads the pack to a much better future. Now, Kim Woolhuter is working on his third film, which he anticipates will be even more natural and close to these wonderful animals. For my latest documentary, I'm filming spotted hyenas on Mashatu. Hyenas are the most misunderstood animals on earth. They're labeled dirty, dangerous, and scavengers. My whole objective is to change that. I've been filming this spotted hyena clan for about a year and a half now, 18 months. And the reason I chose these hyenas was because these guys live in the central area of Mashatu, where there's no camps, they don't visit any camps, so they have no human interference and they don't interact with people in any way. And that's hugely important because when hyenas go to campsites, people feed them and it just destroys their whole habits and everything and they become incredibly dangerous. There was this female by the name of Kwas and she was amazingly relaxed and all the other hyenas moved away when I moved in to take photographs and she stayed three, four meters away. She was the only hyena that had a cub at that time. Every time I saw this little guy, he would come running out to the car, bouncing away. <laughs> And then as he get to the car, he'd turn around and sprint back into the den, absolutely terrified. And then a minute or so later, he'd peek his head out and he'd come out again. And so I named him Bounce. <laughs> Whenever I get to the den and I get out to take photographs and stuff, Bounce would come running over. Yes. Wouldn't, wasn't yes. the easiest thing to take photographs because Bounce would want to then play. <laughs> You're a turtle monkey. What a beautiful and adorable interaction. In fact, all beings have this love and gratefulness within them, as Supreme Master Chin Hai explained during a conference in 2009. See, the wilds, they are not wild. They are not that wild. They are very, very friendly, very adorable and very grateful. If you're good to them, they're good to you. But if you're not sure, please don't try with the snakes. Just leave them alone. They will be grateful enough. The best for us humans to do is not to interfere with their life. Not 
to do anything. <laughs> Just protect the environment and then they protect themselves. Speaking about highness, Kim Walhutter said, I had to be able to give them something. Feeding them was out of the question. The only thing I could give them was love and affection. Furthermore, he said, just understand and respect them and you will discover how amazingly affectionate they can be. Kim Wolhutter is also making a documentary on Honey Badges. We look forward to these new films and wish Kim Wolhutter the very best in his noble goal, showing viewers around the world what loving relationships we can have with the many animals in the wilderness. For more information on Kim Wolhuder, please visit kimwolhuder.com. Noble viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company today. Coming up next is the unique third eye tour Tara, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May we all cherish nature and be at peace and trust with all the lovely animals on earth in God's grace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash cs. Be veg, go green to save the children.